Dear students, in the chapter of design of riveted joints, this lecture is on tearing of plate in a riveted joint and tearing efficiency. I, Dr. Balas Singh Brad, from Yadavindra College of Engineering, Talwandi, Talwandi Sabo, India, am presenting. To explain the concept of tearing, we take a single riveted lap joint. Two plates overlapping each other and each having a thickness T. Rivet dia, hole dia is D, and the pitch of the rivets is small p. Now, suppose this single riveted lap joint is subjected to a tensile load pt on both the plates and if the plates are of poor strength or, poor, or the joint is poorly designed then plates may get teared along the Pitch line, pitch line or the cage line and the tearing is shown in the figure. This is known as tearing of plate in a riveted joint. In this view, we have shown that when the rivet upper plate say got torn, it got teared at this cross section, section which is shown as section plane and for pi unit pitch we want to find out the resistance offered by the plate to the failure so the area under failure is given by given by this area approximately this area which is equal to this length length from here to here which is p minus half dia on this side half dia on this side so this length is t p minus t and thickness of plates thickness of the plates is is already given to be t so the area where the tearing is taking place by unit which is p minus t into t so tearing resistance offered per unit pitch is this area multiplied by allowable tensile strength sigma t so pt is the resistance offered to tearing of plate which is usually measured in per unit pitch now once the resistance offered is known we will calculate the tearing efficiency tearing efficiency eta t is defined as tearing resistance of riveted plate which is usually measured per unit pitch divided by tearing resistance of solid plate now as we calculated in the previous slide tearing resistance of riveted plate is this area where the tearing took place approximately here multiplied by this area multiplied by sigma t when no hole is there we have a solid plate so this area will be total length p to thickness t it will be multiplied by liable tensile strength and we can get the tearing resistance now in the numerator and denominator sigma t and t is cancel out and we get the relation for tearing efficiency of a lap joint to be p minus t by p 
Coming to a problem, let a single riveted lap joint is used for 10 mm thickness plates with 20 mm diameter of rivets and pitch of 60 mm. Maximum tensile strength of the plates is 180 megapascal. Determine the tearing efficiency of the joint. Given is thickness of both the plates 10 mm rivet hold dia 20 mm d pitch of the rivets p is 60 mm allowable tensile strength sigma t is 180 megapascal but we have calculated for a single riveted lap joint eta t is p minus t to p Putting the value of P60, D20, we solve and tearing efficiency comes out to be 66.6%. So, we have calculated that the given single riveted joint has a tearing efficiency of 66.66%. In this lecture, we have learned how to calculate the tearing efficiency of the single riveted lap joint. Similarly, we can calculate for double riveted lap joint and the concept of tearing. Thanks, my dear friends.